and hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. So we're finally starting with variables. You guys don't understand how excited I am about this. Like, this is just too good. Like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing, guys. Finally, we're going to do something useful. Or we, what we did was useful, but you know. Alright, so you get three types of variables. Somewhat. Okay, can you, um, not? Oh, wait, I think I should save first. Okay, let's save. This was for another project, which I decided not to do. Alright, so finally, let, let's begin, guys. I can't wait. Oh, so then let's click on calculate to open a on click. Can you, can you open an on click function, please? There. Alright. So there are three types. Now, the first two you don't have to really do work with just yet. These are mostly, you know, for you to do later on. Okay, so first you get private declarations. Now, I'm not going to go through the nitty gritty things. I'm just going to tell you guys for now um, what these are, what this one is mostly used for. Um, but I'm not going to go into the very deep details and tell you guys what specifically you'd use it for. That we can do later on once we get to the bigger projects. So first off, you get private. Now, to declare a variable, um, you get the different types of variable. You get a string. Which is a word. Wait, let's let's put this in a uh, there. So first, you get a string, which becomes a word. For example, uh, my name. That's this is a string. Um, hello. That's a string. A string can also be something like a sentence. For example, how are you? This is a string. Then you get a character. Or a char. This is literally just a, char a character. For example, A or B or C. You know, there, there's not really a thing too special, you know. So these are the main types of things you'd work with when you talk about strings. Uh, char not really that much, but you do get like once in a while you'll find that. Now note these are very important, in all, almost all programming languages you'd have this. You'd have something that is a variable, so keep this in mind, you gotta get this one underhand. So then there's also an integer. Now integer is basically a number, for example 5 or 9 or even uh, 7000 all right but do not confuse it with this this is a string because it is in these quotes this is a number because it does not have quotes so keep that in mind because delphi will see this as a string then you get a real or a double. Now in Java you'd usually use a double, but in Delphi you have the option to use a real. Now these are basically also numbers, but these numbers can be something like 5.79 or 9.0 or even 8765.9876 this is a real or a double but if you were to put something like this here it will give you an error because an integer is only whole numbers while a double can be things like this then this guys this is really important this, this one you guys really need to know it's called a boolean now boolean is a true slash false now basically you'd use it in something like this if let's say b flag equals true then put your code code here and else begin and then put your code here see it will be something like that 
So if it is true, it will do that. But if it's false, it will not do that. So we're going to get more deeper into these later on because these are really important and also very fun to work with. Now, if something is in the private declarations, guys, it means you can use it everywhere. For example, wait, wait, let's let's not get ahead of us. Okay, let's first do this. So to declare a variable, you go underneath procedure or pri here private, but we'll get to that later. There's going to be in public, but that's also for a later topic. Put in var to say you're going to start declaring variables here. Now let's go is word of yeah is word, and then you go this. This basically says becomes or is, you know, and you go string. But since Delphi isn't really um, capital sensitive, you can do that or that. It doesn't really matter because on if they press Control D, it's not going to give you any problems. Okay, so now let's just fix that because that's annoying. Okay, so then we can go like this. Now, how to declare a variable? You can go like S word becomes, and then in these quotation mark things. You can go and make it maybe hello. Now, the reason why we say S word with the S and not just word is because when we work with this, this basically tells us this is going to be a string. Because later on, you will be doing things like S word plus int to a string i num um yeah plus s word two maybe and things like that and let's just go like this we remove that that and that now yes you can still read it but later on it's not it's not going to always state words it will change to things like name or even id number id num now id number can be a string guys just like phone number it's it's you can make it a string it's not impossible so it's usually good practice to do that you don't have to but it's good practice now let's go and declare another string so to do that you go copy i mean comma and is word two now you can also do this is word three Oh, sorry about that free and go string and do it all one by one but Delphi made it easy for you and just made you have you just have to add a comma now we can go s word 2 becomes world world So now we can do this because we have an edit. Sorry about that. We have an edit here. This is edit to edit out. Now when we when we say calculate, we're going to like display hello and world as one word. So then we go edit out dot text becomes an s word plus and in a space in between plus s word two. Right now, you might not see the point of all of this, but once we get deeper into this, guys, you're really going to love it. I'm telling you, this is the variables makes everything easier. If you say calculate hello world, that's very nice, right, guys? So basically, this just says um, hello and then plus a space plus world. That's all that basically says. Remember, you can also put sentences in here. So you could have gone like a sentence and say hello world and it's one sentence. So yeah. Now let's remove that because it's a calculate. Now we're going to declare an integer. So now we're going to go i num1, comma i num2. And we're going to make that integer. Now let's also go b flag and go boolean sorry about that boolean okay so now we have a boolean as well so now we make b flag equal to or it becomes excuse me 
false for now. It's good to say what it should be at the beginning because you know. So because sometimes it might be true or false randomly. I don't know. I might just do that at the beginning. So you can go inum one becomes five. Inum two becomes and then let, let's also teach you something else. Let's add math here. Math. Now, math is something that you use to do math with. Now, in JavaScript, you'd go math.round and then insert whatever you want to round. But in here, you put math right on the top there. And then you go round. So it's kind of like math.round. And then you go like, let's say, 5.89. Now, round will round this up or down to the nearest integer. For let's say if it's 5.8, it will go to 6. If it's 5.4, it will go to 4. Or it will go to 5, excuse me, not 4. So, yeah, and if it's 5.5, it will go to 6 as well. So it's already halfway, you know. So now we go if... I num two is equal to it's going to be six then begin and then we go B flag B flag becomes true now this is a basic example we'll get to more of this later and then we can go if B flag equals yeah if b flag if it's if you want it to be true you can just go if b flag but if you want it to be false you have to say false so if it's false but if it's true you can actually just go b flag or you can go b flag equals true you can go begin just make this a little bit nicer then you can go inum1 plus inum2 Wait, 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 wait. Then you go edt out dot text becomes. Now, note guys, an edit cannot take in an integer. It is a string holder, especially if it's the text. Then you have to go int to string. I just have to convert these to into strings. Now, the reason why I put all of them in one inch string is because if you didn't do that, it will basically say 5 plus 6, and then you'll just get 56. But if they're still numbers, then you go basically 5 plus 6, which will equal to 11. So that is why you put all both of them into inch string, not inch string this one plus into string item two. Okay, good. And then you say else. So so if B flag is true, it will display that. Else, edit out dot text becomes error. So let's see if it works. calculate and we get 11 this is because b flag is true so let's just tidy this up a bit very okay so if we were to say if inum equals 5 then b flag equals true so b flag will now become false and it will give us an error so let's run again Calculate. See error. So this is just the basics of variables. We'll definitely get deeper into this as we go on because these are very important. You're going to use them a lot later on. So yeah. Now if you declare something here. Now let me show you something. If we're going to let's open it an on form create. So if I'm going to try to use let's say inum 
to here, then it's not going to give me anything. So, for example, let's show message inum wait, int to string inum2. Let's run this. But oh, we are getting an error. Now, why is that? This is because inum is basically invisible to everything around it except for this procedure here. Because it only lasts for from begin to end. Now, this is also very important because this also works a lot in other programming languages. This includes JavaScript, Java, um, Python, almost, it. I think Python, I'm not sure. It probably does, yeah. But these are very important to note. So this is why you have a private section right there. So let's remove inum2 and declare it here. inum2 integer. Now we have an inum. So let's declare inum here. inum2 becomes, what was inum2? Yeah, let's just copy this. And then paste it here, B. Now, when we run it, we get a 6. And then we can press calculate, and we get an error because, remember, B flag is false. But, if we were to make this one invisible, and go here to variable inum2 integer we'd still have a bunch of errors because we don't know what this inum2 is so that is why you have a private declaration place now the public one you will almost never use until you start doing projects so yeah we'll get to this one later you don't have to worry yourself about this one just yet because we're we don't really we don't really work with those things just yet either. So yeah, that's all there is for the variables for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.